All yeah. right. We had a GM. Okay, so Still do. we are I mean, ready to share with sound. Before yes. I do all this nonsense, I should probably hit record. Oh, I am recording. Cool. All right. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Professionals. This episode. Professionals, people. What yeah. a great start this episode's going to have. Right. Thanks, everyone, for staying with us this long. <laughs> to Everyone Racers, a show designed for the world of low-dollar racing and an oddball car culture. It doesn't matter what kind of lemon champ or lucky track dog league you run. SCCA or NASA. We don't discriminate. As long as you drive it hard and built it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussions. Tips, tricks, as well as news and notes. From the world of amateur endurance racing. And whether it's on the spot. Hella sweet or lucky. Chrissy. 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 And I give you just a tip. We're sure you'll giggle a little. And learn even less. Everyone report to the paddock. This is Chris. This is Chrissy. And I'm actually Eric, not El Jefe. And I'm mental. Uh, that's great. And we're everyone racers. Welcome to a Y block episode of our podcast. It's episode 292. The Ford 292 is the longest lived of the Y blocks called that because of their deep skirting caused the engine block to resemble a Y. Y blocks were used to replace the flathead V8 uh, used in the U.S. from 1955 until 1962 in cars and uh, 1964 in trucks. It also lived until the 1980s in Ar- Argentina Fords. Who knew? Uh, not cruising in your Pico Thunderbird V8? Well, try our non-skirted version of the UNR bingo, bingo card. Probably could use an overhaul. We should put that on our to-do. Skirtless. Even better. <laughs> what? Sure. I said it's skirtless. Even skirtless. better. Skirtless. Got it. It is skirtless. Okay. What you working on? Mental. What you working on? I finally actually found a little bit of time and combined with some mobility. So I went and changed the oil and rotated the tires on the Miata and got my sample all boxed up to share with Blackstone labs and start a file on the car. I was on a new episode of Dur or die posted that on our Instagram today, uh, talking about the 914 that I've mentioned before, and it was birthday weekend with the missus. So we went and to her favorite restaurant. Then we wandered around uh, downtown for a bit. And then Sunday went and did our normal Sunday morning uh date and just kind of hung out so it was a, a nice, nice relaxing weekend lovely sounds nice sounds just how, like our weekend yeah <laughs> sure oh, oh. how do you like the 914 that you've had it for two weeks does it uh does it ex- meet all of your expectations of various levels yes which were, were admittedly very low uh but no it's still a fun little car yeah I, I, as i i'll talk about it on the show shifting it, it's like moving a spoon around in mashed potatoes. It oh, fanatically oh, marks its spot uh, whenever I park at someplace uh, and I can't open the doors from the outside right now, but ideally I'll, I'll get to all that kind of stuff. But it's, it's, you know, it's a goofy little charming, ugly dog that it's just so darn happy to be here. That's good. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, okay. So I guess well, I should, I should, well, so I throw normally we go here. through an order, but I'm going to go with Eric. Cause I see something that interests me. This is pertinent to my interest. Eric, tell me DJ nine fourteen. What are you working on? Well, I did a little racing. I did a little theming. I did a little, all sorts of awesome stuff that we'll talk more about, but I just today received back uh, a 914 transmission, which had been recently rebuilt by Dr. Evil and uh, it previously had a long history of trying to get delivered, being rejected, sent back to the order, coming back here and finding out that the entire bell housing had been sheared off it because apparently the FedEx guys love to drop things like that off of eight feet trucks. And now we finally have it back. So now I'm I'm almost ready to make that together, get the car here and put it all together to get this car out of my life back to its owner and I can get out of that business and start working on my own cars, which is what I want to do. Serves Fantastic. you right for helping a friend. Gosh. <laughs> it's been, it's been about 25 times more effort than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. That's the which way is about accurate with any are. car project, which is yes. about right. Yeah. How yeah. oh, it always works. But I have the, I have that sheared bell housing upstairs as a trophy. I will, I'll, you know, I'll send pictures sometime. 
I uh, we one of these times shared bell housing. Yeah, uh, contact Eric. Of, yeah, get a hold of DJ nine fourteen. Uh, I have a folder of smart ass things that one day I'm going to post on our Instagram, and I've been going through some of them. One of them about the um, Simpsons episode being closer to the moon landing than it is to today, which was met with the you know annoying stuff. But this one, as soon as you said um, <clears throat> FedEx, this is a uh, a FedEx smart aleck thing that I've seen there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a FedEx, FedEx of the fucking creek. Yeah, yep. That is that is the FedEx tracking that it says for it. We threw it in the creek. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. About right. Yeah. Just, yeah. Crazy. Okay. So Chris, how about you? Why don't you tell us what you did uh, all weekend? We did some race prep, and then we did some driving, and then some racing, and then some fixing, and then some driving, and then cleaning up. That's about it. Ditto. <laughs> yep. I'll just go. We'll just do that. That's exactly what I yep. did. Yep. Fantastic. Let's move on. No, 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 no! Oh goodness, sorry. Wow. Hey. Uh, so, are you planning on a hella sweet tax rebate with your new EV or hybrid this year? Yeah, yeah. I bet you are. Well, hey, you know what? Better double check because Stephen Cole Smith at Haggerty has the list from the Treasury Department. Among the not eligible. The Audi Q5 e Quattro plug-in hybrid, the BMW 330e and X5 plugins, Rivian's <gasps> Nissan Leafs, Leafs, <laughs> Leafs, Leafs, and multiple Leafs, Leafs. Leafs, right? Whatever they are, uh, yep. Volvos, and the Volkswagen ID4. Why? Well, the tax credit applies to vehicles within a certain price range, uh, North American assembled and sourced, recycled or refined as batteries here as well. 7500 for the full benefit, half that for partial. So that's very specific on what it has to be. And uh, I bet there are a couple of people out there who are going to be bummed. They're not getting that $7,500 rebate. Chrissy, I don't see the take hand on that list. Yeah. So you still need to get uh, one. Good, good. No problem. That's going to sell me on it. Um, also, I had heard this multiple times on the news, but I had not seen the actual list or heard the actual list. And this is a pretty, pretty big list. Like no one really popular. knew the list and now someone had to actually go and figure it out. And oh. supposedly it's going to change again fairly soon from what I understand. Probably because there's an uproar because people are, well, I don't know if the government cares. It's too late. That. Well, that's what you get for buying the car saying, well, I hope there's going to be a tax rebate that's going to apply. That's what you get for trusting the government. They employ me and have for three decades. You're an idiot. Uh, yes. Nothing and... else I can add to that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mic drop. Okay. <laughs> well. Moving on. Uh, normally, teachers are trustworthy folks, but and tr who tr try to do the right thing. There are like, some exceptions. And Lawrence Harge Hodge at Jalopnik tells us about one particularly shady one. Gregory Ditch, an automotive teacher at, at Naperville High School in Illinois, was overseeing an all girl student group who had built a race truck. Their goal was to compete in the Texas Mile, at the land, a land speed record competition held twice a year near Victoria, Texas. En route to the competition, the truck broke. So he hopped on Truro uh, and rented a new Supra from Giovanni Morales. When he returned, when it was returned to him, the tires and brakes were used up, and he was claiming four thousand dollars in damages. Ditch is claiming he uses a different Supra. Link in a different Supra. Link in our notes. This cat. That, 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 this this story has. Excuse. Yeah, this story has all sorts of questions. All just, sorts of questions. Just, just, just say it wasn't questions. you. Just say it wasn't you. That's it. <laughs> Run away. Uh, <laughs> watch, watches. Uh, our, our hardworking and absent Jeff and Donnie suddenly lean into their radios because in the ever evolving battle of sheets versus Wawa, the Altoona, Pennsylvania based changes fired a big salvo lemons judge, Aaron Cole, who also occasionally is an editor over at the drive tells us that the chain will sell E 85 fuel for a mere dollar 85 a gallon wow. until the end of <clears throat> April. No. Aaron cautions that you need to make sure your car can use it or you'll be spending a lot of money <laughs> replacing parts. Now, the easiest way to tell is if your factory gas cap is yellow. If it is not, it is best to avoid the 85% ethanol blend that gives the fuel its name. But if you're running a tuned or forced induction system, you can have a lot of fun, which is why a lot of those guys like that. Koenig's Edge, Dodge Demons, and a lot of other flex fueled applications run the organic ish blend which functions in those forced uh because it really does like compressions but it's really high octane 
That's why. Is very high in octane. Um, not mocking my co-host, but I've spent some time in that part of the world and around that mid-Atlantic area. And this is what I predict for the future. A lot of future Facebook marketplace listings with the words needs fuel pump. Uh-huh. No, it's it's fool pump. Fool pump. Fool pump. Needs fool pump. <laughs> it's always needs fool pump. I mean, you know, and, and a Manuel transmission. But <laughs> ran so, when parked. But just it's needs so a cheap. Yeah. So that's what you get for going to shoot. No, anyway. no title, bill right. of sale, but you can easily get one from the DMV. Shoot. Totally. <laughs> Excuse oh, me. Well. Okay, we always talk about great classified sections of racingjunk.com, but lest we forget that there are many other interesting things on this site. For one, they have a bunch of interesting events. Unfortunately, none of those that are listed right now are close to us, but that doesn't mean they aren't close to you. So there's drag racing, there's rallies, there's car shows, there's swap meets, and there's some events that are just a mix of those and then there's more i'm sure that you um, are going to have a weekend coming up that you have the family around don't want them sitting in the house playing video games go check out a local event near you and if nothing else you probably see some cool cars uh eat a corn dog and an ice cream cone racing junk has all the things to fill all of your time well, if you can get a corn dog, that's got to be a quality place to go. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, yeah. I don't make guarantees that there's a corn dog, no. but oh, oh, well, I mean that that should have been important. You should have called. Say, excuse me, do you have corn dogs? A lot of the car yeah. events in Oklahoma had deep fried yeah. everything, and my some of my uh-huh. favorites were deep fried Twinkies or deep fried Oreos, deep fried bacon, deep fried mm-hmm. beer. Yeah, these are all pickles. Good deep fried pickles, actually. Yes, uh, these are all quality events. At, uh, at a lot of these things. Yeah, just get your right. get your folks out of the house. Get your kids out of the house. Never Let them know. see something shiny and chrome. Right? It now, doesn't have to be good. Is that the official food of Oklahoma is fried? Just That just feels fried. right. <laughs> that, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Or, yeah, you, know, you know, is. or, or, yeah, slow cooked. <laughs> or fried. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, okay. you know what else you can also get on racingjunk.com is that pro membership and it's like 50% off. And if you use pod 23 and we list all the benefits of this all the time, but you should totally do it. I mean, even if you think you're going to sell something this year, totally do it. Make us look good. Help us out. Right. Or buy something and you might get it early. Who knows? Right. Good time to shop for Christmas already, right? Oh, Christmas is coming yeah. quickly. The problem is if, totally. if you buy something large, it's a little hard to store and hide as a secret from What's somebody. under that scarf? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't look at it till <laughs> December. But it's in I front of it. For but a lot of our listeners, that's actually a really good way to avoid you order the Christmas present. It shows up with a racingjunk.com label on it, and you're like, oh my god, our parts. Mwahaha, it's your Christmas present. Which or it's in front, in front of the front of the lawnmower and you're like, I need to get past that. Like and I'm like, no, it's a present. Don't look at it for another six, eight months. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, coming races. There are so many races this weekend because everybody was off for holidays and stuff. Uh lemons is at CMP. Uh 62 cars. 6.5 BMWs. That's intriguing. A little boring, but not too bad. That's not too bad. One Miata, four Hondas, no Porsches. All of that is amazing. Uh, from Eric, some quality weird Japanese stuff like a Starion, a Starlet, a Summit Wagon, and a 200 SX. Excellent. Champ Car is at the new track out in the Ozarks. 28 cars, lots of room. Mm-hmm. Six of those are BMWs. That's boring. Boring. Yeah, yep. boring. Nine. It's Miatas. boring, but that's oh. that's a respectable mm. BMW ratio for Champ I mean, Car. It's, it's a, a terrible, okay. terrible yeah. Yeah. Miata yeah, ratio, right. but it's Good a call. great BMW ratio. It's about twenty two percent. That's a, that's okay. Yeah, nine Miatas. That's that's bad. One Honda, one Porsche, a Malibu Classic. Excellent. Hell yes. A Neon, a LeBaron. Ah, oh, that's that's the love best choice. And the eighty <laughs> an eighty four GTI. All right. Lucky Dog at the Ridge had 72 total cars. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a lot of cars at this track. 
20 of which, however, are BMWs. So boring. Uh, yeah. 11 Miatas, six Hondas, four Porsches, and a 2000 Protégé and a 98 Ford Escort. Well, good luck Excellent. to them. Excellent. Some people have the right idea. Not many. As they sit down that like that half mile long straight at the ridge in their yeah. 98 Escort. Yep. Yeah. We're still going. While, while the yeah, boxer blows going. by them. Yep. Right. Yeah. The V8 E36. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> going up that hill, that long sweeper. Yeah. That's, yep. that's a lot. Oh, they'll have fun. Sure. Okay. Ready? Recent yeah. results. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we want to leave this here. We'll talk about yes, it now. Absolutely. Okay. No. Oh, throw, okay. Fine. Throw, throw that out there. And then I don't uh, have to read all of these either. I just copied yeah. them from. Just Obviously, read a couple this and throw is it to the, somebody else. the pit race yeah. hangover uh, episode, but we're going to still talk about it under recent results. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start with what is not the boring classes. I'm going to start from the bottom. Overall win. Uh, sometimes we don't care about who wins. This time we really cared about who win, who won, or at least I did. Um, but we re- we all do, actually. So the overall win, Class A, went to my what they call themselves, My Bach Music Sports in Honda Civic. Uh, actually, we call them CISO. We are pretty good friends with them. Uh, they own our truck, um, the uh, GM- GMZ Yukon XL, and that we sold to them. Uh, we've given them a lot of parts. We've gotten them a lot of help. Uh, they're great people. And su- and they've been trying for sh- sh- I don't know how many years to try to win. So they we're very very we are very excited to see them win. Yeah, uh, the great car guys. Was, car was hurting. They, they've been uh, they've been bridesmaids so many times. They come so close. So it's really wonderful yep. to see someone that's really really put in the effort all these years to get to get that success. And yeah, they said that the and, last lap, the alternator, the last couple laps, the alternator failed, and that the car actually died in pit lane like a- after they drove through the past the judges it died like at at the you know, ceremony spot they're like yeah it won't start right now so, <laughs> yeah. yeah it was That'll blown do, smoke Civic. when it was when That'll we do. saw it yeah. i saw it three hours before the checker and it was blowing smoke out the back so and they said didn't they say we're overfilled the oil because it was burning yeah. so much that they were hoping that that would be enough um yeah. and oh, oh i'm sorry also so the so the class a winners overall was back and forth for Oh, every lap the whole for, weekend. for a while. Yeah. I mean, was it all weekend? Pretty much. Okay. But um, it was but, between them and, and burnt rubber soul, I think. Oh, came, team of my was the other one. Team of my came in later on. Yeah. The right. Camry came in later. Which are uh, basically all three of those really good teams like TMMI. Yeah. They, 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 they do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. They give things to people and uh burnt, burnt rubber soul. Another great team. Fun yeah. people to hang out with in the paddock. That's that's that sounds like such like a great lemons race that three good it teams was, were battling it out. It was gripping. Yeah. It was watching and you're like there was changes all over the place. So none of those teams could could sit back. They they yeah. all they all raced very, very hard. I think there was only a lap or two, like a lap at the end between uh between them and TMMI. And ultimately TMMI just didn't have the fuel capacity to make it. So that was that was it. It's crazy racing. <laughs> yeah. Totally. They should go back and listen to our episode about don't don't install a fuel cell. Just don't do it. That's that's what they, that's what CISO that's, finally did. After that's what all they these did, years. and that's why they won. Yeah. Because <laughs> years and years ago, we had that conversation with them about don't until that is the only thing keeping you from winning. So yeah, it's true. They took our advice. They and waited now. until that was what was keeping them from winning. They did it properly. They talked to Pagel. They got everybody approved. It looks great. And they won. And then they, they literally to... used up every other aspect of their car. The yeah. alternator, their blood. They, they, it sounds yeah. like there's an engine rebuild coming. Isn't Probably. that the uh isn't that the efficiency mark? Uh, everything is used up at the checkered flag. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's how a race car should be. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> they did that. Yes. Speaking of great race cars, tell me about the class B, because I love class that car. B. Yay. So uh, and then I'll let then I'll pass this out to everybody else. So class B uh was went to the Aspen. So Oh, before we even started the race, I, I kept telling them. Uh, so I have my co- a coworker on this race team. Um, he was not at the race. And uh, so he was frantically texting everybody on the team every time something happened, uh, which is the worst, right? And mental, you are very oh God, That must be this. like some guy like on another continent. Who's right? Good, when you're t- good who's in the car? Connection. What's going on? Why did that just why, happen? Why did, did the lap pick- take so long? What's right? going this- on? <laughs> This pit, that pit was too long. Oh my God. What time? What's that? Who put that time down? That's exactly what this team was doing. So, uh, they, you always um, wonder if they're like at a funeral or like their kids recital, you know, with the whole, 
<laughs> yeah, this guy was in a wedding. So yeah, so he was just like had it under the, you know, his phone under the table. And I came back to work and I said, I hope that was the best wedding of your life because you missed the best race of your life. Um, so this team was going back and forth with with other teams um, for this win. And they were also hurting. So there was this, at some point when I think I was standing at the wall when I just put Eric in, I think, uh, or maybe Chris I was standing there and uh, and they said the car's hurting. They went from mid tens to twenty fives, two twenty five, like not good, good, um, not race laps at the end of the race. So they were really hurting as well. Um, but happily that they won, and uh, it was great racing. They had to pull out some awesome um, times. And oh, overall, great team. So happy to see them out of my class. That's what I said when they won the award. So <laughs> welcome to A. Pretty much. Yeah. Class C was 4.0 in a Jeep Cherokee that is always very well driven. For what I understand, yeah, those guys are all uh, instructors, or one guy may even be in, may be or have been an IMSA driver at some point. So, yeah, they wheel that thing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, they did. It held, it held together this time, so good for them. That was great. Org choice is not without my TTs, and an, I really looked like it just came from a used car lot Audi TT. <laughs> like it's green. It was yeah. stock looking. It was, it. it was beautiful, early at Bauhaus style one. It's just like don't don't damage any of the corners on that, that thing because it looks so good. Yeah, also hard to fix, so even better. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> The Pennsylvania Sheets versus Wawa Cup was the local award. This is the Neighborinos. They had a Scion TC. They did half of it in Wawa, half of it Sheets. And Super over the course of the weekend, dedicated. right? they gave people stickers and said, go put it on the car on one half or the other of the hood. And we're going to tally the votes at the end to see who wins. It was awesome. I tried to vote for Rudders. Those of you in Pennsylvania <laughs> will find that funny. And... Uh... Uh, Turkey Hill. That was the other one. Yeah, Turkey the, Hill was yeah, the other right, one. That got, yeah, right. nope. Um, no, but Wawa pulled out the victory yep. as it should. Ooh. As it should. As it should. Yeah. And then we had to. So Mary Harris was um was there judging, and she was trying to um understand why one was better than the other. So of course Randy Bish was standing there, and I was standing there, and so she's asking why one thing's one is better than the other. And I said, uh, I said the coffee at Wawa is amazing. Their coffee bar is awesome, and and Randy was like, oh yeah, it really is. And so I was like, yes. Um, and then so she so Mary Harris is like, well they go bring me some and we all go <laughs> you know the closest one's really far away and she was like oh, okay <laughs> next time that was a fun fun theme it worked out well excellent all right looks like a judge's choice was cheap thrills in that cadillac el dorado i've seen that one that's the white uh the was it the white north star or the okay the etc the el dorado touring coupe fantastic i full, thought full interior like like the door panels still on it yeah like the full dash like you know, it was a luxury vehicle they took the springs out of the trunk, but then left everything in the trunk. If you ever try to lift the trunk in that car, it weighs like 70 pounds. And if you don't get your hand out of the way quick enough, it will like rip it off. And depending on what configuration, that's a two person team. It's a, it's a, yeah, uh, I think it was just a husband and wife that did it all weekend. Yeah. That was it. And they street drive that car as they should. <laughs> ah, Excellent. And it looks like it, the Road Mangler Cup went to the lads from the Lily Pad. And uh, I'm going to go with boring BMW 530, but what what generation 530 was it? The Shark E39. Race? And okay. the, the right. fun part right. about that car is that in judging, it had no theme. It was a silver BMW. And Mary said, so I'm going to give you five laps. If you come back with a theme, I'll make it to one lap. So they went out and they like made lily pad hats and like a couple of random little stickers. I mean, it's some shirts like they did something at least. So, you know, got to get, yes. got to get the BMW people at least slightly on, on board. They did yeah, better theming than other teams where they started from nothing. So I give them something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric, Excellent. you want to take a few of these? You were there. Sure. What, what, what sure. happened to Exorian? Oh, they I got screwed in the Ford Probe. Ah, oh, we sh shared up a, a garage with them. Uh, they were struggling here and there. And then midday Saturday, we heard there's a fire, car on fire. They red flagged, and they, they burned up their entire engine bay and a lot of their uh, wiring harness. Sad, 
sad, sad. But no, the, really the version bad. of what I heard is the thing that caused the fire was not one of the three things they had already fixed. <laughs> well, I Probably. hope not. Yeah. They were also they were also struggling a little bit. So yeah. I'm... Yeah. it was a, it was a probe that they a four cylinder probe they stuck a turbo on the front of. So that's Always you know it's going to go well, right? <laughs> um, this the, is going like, to help us win. Everything nope. plastic under the hood was so melted, like fuse boxes, brake master oh, cylinders. It all looked just like one blob. Like it and was, what an incredible pretty, smell they discovered. It, uh, and the thing that, that kind of surprised me is that I didn't see any fire system nozzles under the hood. Me neither. That might have helped. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I shame. look for that. That is a shame. But what are you going to do? Oh, and the, yeah, what are you going to do? They're the going to go get another probe. Is what they're going to do because uh, that one's done. Right. Yeah, yeah. The, and the burn was so bad. All of the panels on the outside, you could see like the, the hood got so hot that it was melted on the outside too. So yep. yeah, it was gone. Heroic fix went to Project Mercury's space program, Mercury X Four Ti. I think I didn't remember hearing the. I'm specific... sorry. I think you miss you mispronounced X Ratty because they're listeners. Oh, the X Ratty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good call. Uh, uh, they had just many different problems, but they kept coming back, coming back, and, and they wheeled it well. So I think, they, I think they, they they hit a wall. They hit the at wall. Some point. That's true. Four wheels quite, spin and right in. Yeah, quite hard. That damaged a whole bunch of the suspension, and that was mostly custom. This thing's kind of a wide body, and apparently they 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 got it back together. So, yeah. Yep. That was Sunday, I think. I think so. Well, yeah. So I, I remember. Think. I think they hit the wall on Sunday. I think it was it was a pretty good turnaround and whatever what whenever they hit it, um, they did a pretty good job putting it back. Yep. And then the last one, eBay Motors Halloween meets gasoline trophy. Went to ask us about our purity test scores with their Eclipse GT. They had a OSHA style NOSHA theme. They themed all weekend. They had their uh, little safety vests on, they had their clipboards, they pushed it through all weekend. They did a great job. So onward to them. There were a couple of uh, contenders in the that particular trophy, and mm -hmm. I particularly liked the anti seas guys yep. because to me that che was cheese ball. Yep, uh -huh. cheese ball. Yes, <laughs> hilarious. They had that, you know, it on their faces and everywhere. They had that, you know, it's something we joke about, but great theming. And the one of the guys was dressed up like the like the uh, anti seas guy. <laughs> He but, had the um, little brush on a stick and or in the little like a the cap. Yeah, yep. yeah, it was a garbage garbage can lid attached to a broom that had the little support. They looked great. They wore onesies all day and yeah. Or, yeah, most of the time they covered so. themselves in tempura paint. It was great. Yeah. Uh, what they I do you want to say on the on the team that won? They uh their their checklist that they had for everything, they, you name it, but it was they they made sure to point out that the font for that was Comic Sans. So <laughs> that's always good. And they put lockout tag out stickers like on like most cars in the paddock at night. <laughs> so everyone in the morning. Yeah. So they had a little checklist out. and they said if you if you're if found in violation for these things, this is what they will take as payment to on to uh, you know get you off their list. It was good. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, I think yeah, they, they did a great job. Out. And it was well themed and it had a layers and they kept it going the whole time. Yep, so yep. applause totally. to them. They deserve the award. And Chrissy was going, finally, a joke that I get none of you, Pete, and I have to explain it to all of you losers. Well, no, on Saturday, I guess it was Saturday when we were standing there for the, the driver's meeting, and that's when they started, and I was like, oh, this is cute. And then they showed me their clipboards, and they were they were already into theming, so it was good. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Awesome. And it looks like uh, uh, our buddy Manny, was that is that Manny's uh, crew yeah. that uh, took the IOE? Fantastic. Yeah, it was. When they decided that a, a car with a horsepower number that has two digits came in like 20 something, they said, you know, that's pretty impressive. Yep. They, they are some long standing competitors. They've done a lot of great things. They help out people constantly. Uh, and they a couple do. of them have judged too. So, yeah, that yep. is a, it's good. That's good to see. Oh, Absolutely. Well, we're going to get into that even more, particularly from three of the people screens point of view. But right now, it's listener feedback. <laughs> All right. On the YouTubes, Randy B said, welcome to my backyard. And a couple of notes. For the love of all that is holy, stop pronouncing the T in Pramanis. It's pronounced Pramanis. This 
Primonti's stuff makes it sound like a classy establishment, and the best ones are the exact opposite. He also mentioned Pit Race North garages are the southernmost set of garages. Not that it matters, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Randy specifically said I had to tell you mental. Cut it out with the freaking T in for Manny's. <laughs> Three Mandy's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Whatever. All right. Right. Yeah. I got it. Uh, There were a lot of likes when Eric uh, took over the IG this weekend, and Bill said the code was real. You said good work. Yep. All right. And now on the balloon itself, and uh, they'll get into the theme here in a second. Chris S said, "One, he had an ample opportunity to shoot it down." And speaking of Randy, we did get this photo taken, and I believe it is one of the last viable photos of the spy balloon before it met its untimely demise. And uh, so there it is. Awesome. <laughs> and for those who are not watching this on YouTube, oh my you, God. what you're seeing is camera floating above the pit garages, which is clearly the not a spy balloon. And approaching it from below, still being <laughs> oh, thrown, is the infamous God. Three Petal Mafia double-ended dong. So I'm convinced this is how the balloon met its untimely demise. It is, is not, that, but that's it fun. Still, it still was funny. great, though. Yeah, that, that is great, the Randy. best picture. Yeah. Oh, I, I must get I, that picture. I, we need this picture. <laughs> it's in our email. Uh, Randy okay. sent it to okay. us. Okay. Uh, Eric, I'll forward it to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Randy wow. put a 360 degree GoPro on it, and then we all threw the dong at it. It was it was quite <laughs> difficult to get the dong up that much i believe in that picture it's uh who was wearing the tinfoil hat uh, uh jeremy was jeremy. Wearing tinfoil hat. it jeremy looks like jeremy is it. jeremy looks like the one who got that shot so yeah oh, it's so good <laughs> he's got a, he's got a, he's handy with that thing <laughs> handy yep. okay. okay all right he yeah. can he can he can he can whip his dong around i don't know how to make the transition from that <laughs> statement uh, to this next thanks. part thanks thank you <laughs> Uh, you know who usually doesn't throw things to spy balloons? Uh, sure. <laughs> Does not. How about that? She there we um, go. brought made great cookies. Oh, they, yeah. were, they were great. I think there was a new kind that everybody seemed to love was um, Biscoff oatmeal white chocolate chip with Funfetti chips. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a huge hit. So I think it's just Biscoff equals crack. I think is what really the answer I mean, is. Everything was good. Oh, so. yeah. Yes. Always is. Yep. Everybody got bags. And... Yep. It was a good. It was good. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I'm oh. still I'm savoring my Biscoff bars. Those are my favorite, mm-hmm. and I'm eating them slowly. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you, they actually made some that made that made it home. Yeah. All okay. Right. Let's talk about the race weekend. It's week. It's main topic time. Forty percent hangover. Could... No, forty percent <laughs> hangover. I'm sure. Eighty percent pit race. Okay, that's fine. I was like, that's not how it goes. Okay. Yeah. What are we, what are we talking about? Well, I guess pre, let's let's just go through the days and through the stuff. So just yep. the, our okay. pre-race got there Thursday night before they closed. And here's a note for next year that we remember. They say the gates close at 10. They sort of do in that they won't be giving you wristbands, but the pit will still let you in after 10. They just take your driver's license so that they know who has to come back and because you know you kind of need your driver's license for stuff so that is a nice thing to know you don't have to sleep in the driveway they will let you in other but, other tracks take notice if you need them to come back and sign the yeah. waiver you don't have yep. to climb over a fence maybe right no coy- yep exactly no coyote we've definitely never done any of those I know. things I no don't know we don't and we about. don't suggest it either nope. i don't know nope. what you're talking about totally that's terrible um so yes our small 3 p.m group it was just the three of us and that was that we had one car chrissy and i showed up the first night and we met uh, we met um bill was already there and vicky and the garage heroes and all their stuff and we, yeah, so we, we set everything up and, and hung out with, with them, them and and some other folks and had a great time hanging out with everybody thursday night um i, I will say that uh, chrissy and i tested out our new track camping setup this weekend so we yeah. took the enclosed trailer that they, you've all heard all the work i've done over the last couple of years with insulating and painting and wiring and lights and stuff and um, I got an, a, an exterior rug that's eight by 16, put that on the floor to make a nice clean space. Um, got a nice big thick air mattress with a headboard or good quality one that plugs in, plug that all in. It, it was a really nice spot. Like the, the rug made it so clean. The air mattress was very comfortable. We had lights, we had heat, we had air conditioning. 
it really worked out great. Mm -hmm. We were able to spread out. We had tables that had stuff to yeah. put our yeah all the hangers that we used. And when we clean out the the trailer, we still have a hold the hookers on the wall. So we just lined up all of our race gear, and yeah, ended up being really great. Yeah, the new workbench that I built worked great to, to hold stuff to keep it off the floor, and also for Chrissy to put all her stuff on. So works out great. Awesome. <clears throat> Which yeah. it would be holding stuff and keeping <clears throat> it off the floor. Yeah. Yep. There was still stuff cool. on the floor too, but that's okay. <laughs> Had a good time. Yep. So uh, Friday. So no, to, so no towelie, because uh, I guess no Bruce, is, no Bruce is still didn't, Bruce is still they didn't get the car. Then... They didn't, didn't get the car all the way together. So no tally, no hot tub, no Cressida, because oh, they were going to a... Road America instead. Yeah. So it's a little contingent, but hey, you know it was super low key and easy. Yeah, no, yeah. we had a great time, especially um, hanging out with Garage Heroes. I mean, it was it was plenty of a big party. Mm -hmm. I was, yep. it was Garage Heroes and yep. Jeremy from Monkey House and uh, Alan, and you know, like we were all running around. Various people plenty. coming through. As, yep. at times yeah but uh, the other teams were definitely missed everyone asked where they were oh so. absolutely yep. no doubt uh, and also i did find out that i apparently uh have an asterisk next to my name with pit race because when i was paying for the garages and things the head of hr lady who as i was talking to said uh so hey uh, are you guys gonna bring the hot tub this year <laughs> like uh, somehow they knew that that was me well, my my Hot name registered on the garage for our team, so I said, "No, no, no, we don't have it this year." She's like, "That's good." And that's <laughs> I, I feel that. see, and I feel like that depends on the track because when you go to register for the garage in New Hampshire and they say it's a hot tub coming, you say, "No, no," they're like, "Oh, well, uh, then I don't know if we have a garage available." Right. Yep. <laughs> All right, Friday. Did we test? No. What was what was the weather like? You said it was going to be nice, but it's, it's gorgeous. Okay, perfect. gorgeous. It was, it was seventy five and sunny. It only rained after the track was closed uh, on Saturday, and then overnight. That was it, and, and everything and, else was just gorge. And Saturday was after we were basically all in the garage to get to eating food. Like, and then it then it cleared up after we had food. It was great. Like, it was everybody was able to stay outside. Got it was a little humid after that, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. I mean, you couldn't get you could not ask for a better April weekend in Pittsburgh than what we just had. Oh, so beautiful. All yeah. right, I showed up around noonish, and we yep. started to get into theme. Yep. And I, I got out in the morning. He went shopping. Yeah, while Chrissy was working, you said you had a nice little setup under the tent there. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah, I I took the car. I went to uh, Walmart to buy various assorted things as you always end up needing, including two large tanks of helium. So it was a hundred dollars worth of helium that I bought there. Um, got some gas. Uh, yeah, drove the Mazda to the gas station with all the gas cans in it, filled it all up to get ready for Saturday because it's convenient when the race car is still registered. Uh, yeah, and then we started theming. Started theming. Eric? So, our, so our theme was uh, spy balloon, uh, or let me say, uh, generic weather balloon. Definitely not a three p.m. spy balloon. So we had multiple characters. Uh, I played two different characters. One was the insane tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist, which I put a couple of videos on. Hopefully that was able to see that. Chris was the ever so interested in shooting it down pilot. And uh, Chrissy was the was the reporter, 69 News reporter, who uh, was looking for the big scoop and uh, willing to oversee some important details to uh, get the right answers. So we uh, we hit hard. We got our balloon up. We made it. It's it was. It did not fill the entire thing, even though it was a hundred dollars worth of helium. We could have probably done two or probably four more actual uh, containers in that balloon, turning it out to be the full ninety six inches in diameter. Uh, but it flew beautifully. It did not have sufficient loft to hold the three p.m. dong. So we had to we had to. Uh, yeah, to figure out something else, we, we had a nice. We substituted sign on it. white, substituted white claw cans. We thought, well, what's light and still fun <laughs> enough? So, yeah. And a little bit of ballast, Brilliant. and then as yeah. we started to lose it, we like lot dro uh, dropped Jettison one the can. cans. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. I, I, we were well. I was hesitant to make it. I was afraid it was going to pop immediately. So we were making sure, like, oh, we got to watch it, and and we made it like a full probably twenty four hours. So uh -huh. that that wasn't yeah. too bad. Yeah, yeah. We let it go and we let it fly and uh, we add, I don't know if I can add it here. Um, we added to it. So uh, we thought it would be, we, uh, I think it was Vicky that's, well, maybe, uh, Eric, did you start the 
picture on the balloon? Somebody yeah, I did, an eye I, on it. I did the eye. I did I, the eye, and then Vicky had a color markers, which is right. much better than what I had, thus allowing it to be uh, what Mental's about to show. <laughs> oh, no. That's Thanks crazy, Eric. Sure. So yeah, yeah. What, we, what we did is for the theme, I, I initially came in as this crazy character and I started sowing seeds with the judges. I ran around them yelling them that there's a thing coming and all that stuff. Randy Bish immediately started laughing and all was good. And then we went to tech wearing, I was wearing the 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 uh, general outfit. Chris was wearing his flight suit. Chrissy was asking all sorts of questions. It was fantastic. We did a bunch of show, a bunch of theater for them and the balloon yeah. remained there and we denied its existence over and, and over we and over again obnoxious about our saluting mental what he would have he would have shaken your head oh, so yeah my gosh. yeah we're gonna we're gonna have a conversation with sajeev about that navy thing on that uniform too at least he, did, <laughs> at least he was, didn't put space force on there that was that was dishwashing fairy by the way sajeev and dishwash they wanted to they, oh, they but wanted sajeev they said, was was uh pensive about how to get back at you or something like it. So it, yeah. it's not wrong for saying Sajeev had something to do with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was it. Friday was easy. Had it, uh, got everything done. See, here's the, uh, had and a you nice can time. find, you can still find these. Oh, I'm sorry. Who else is screen sharing? Uh, there we go. Oh, that was Vicky. showing the balloon. Oh, there balloon you go. With, the, with, with that's Vicky's the blue eye. She drew on it. It looked so much better. Yeah. She added the eyebrow, it was a little bloodshot yeah, as it should be right. The color was really wonderful. She's a, such a talented artist. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But it was fun. Yeah. And people, I had a good time with it. And then when it popped, we were all very sad. Very sad. I had a lot of plans for it for the weekend. Me and too. alas, it was gone. It was gone. Mm -hmm. Somebody shot it down or it we hit, did have it, it hit the garage. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yep. We made sure Eric did a, uh, white guy in a truck rant selfie rant which is those are always the, the most valuable source of news is the white guy in a truck selfie rant yeah exactly yeah. you know they're they're they've got a seventy thousand dollar vehicle and darn it if they're not just being marginalized and in, in oppressed yeah. <laughs> that's right that's you right. got that's it so true. uh saturday so how was saturday driving eric you started off saturday i loved it i had a fantastic time i uh wasn't doing great uh, media. I was thinking, you know, doing okay. I don't really know pit race very well and I need to learn it better. Uh, so I did about an, I did, I was in the car an hour 45, but I was only racing an hour 15. Then I got a little sick. So I came in, Chrissy took over and then within three laps, she beat my best time by a lot. So good, 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 and good on Chrissy. And uh, we kept going all day. I think we had a really solid day. Yeah. So, Chrissy, how was your time out there? It was fanta <clears throat> fantastic. Excuse me. I was screaming. Yeah, screaming so much. I, I have no voice. Uh, yes, mental. All right. So like nine laps in, somebody came in. Oh, yeah. Uh, the car was the car runs on the mm, warmer the side. That is the, the way the, the fan doesn't come on until like 2.30. So Eric, because we weren't really trying. Somebody, Eric, somebody Eric, was Eric, watching Race Monster. And also, we had no radios. We, we had, had no radios. Bars. No radios. Yeah, once, once we borrowed from Bill, weren't working. Like, we couldn't. They were keying, but they weren't transmitting. Yeah. So, Eric came in to say, is this okay? We said, yep, that's fine. As long as it stays there, it's fine. Keep going. Yeah. It was, it was. I mean, for me, that would be hotter than what I'd expect. So, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't totally. want to hurt anything. So, yeah. Plus, no, we weren't I, winning. That, so. that's and it was early. So, no, that's great. Uh, the problem Absolutely was that Chris, Chris and I were like, oh, let's get on Scooty and go watch. And so we were watching, and then Eric uh, was close to the um, Civic. So we were watching them go around. Cool, cool, cool. And all of a sudden, we see the Civic go around, and we say, hmm, the Mazda's not there. And we that, said, we're going to wait. My phone rings. <laughs> right. Oh. And we, well, we said we were going to wait to see if it comes back around again. We didn't see it. So then we yeah. got back on Scooty and came back down. Yeah, so better safe than sorry. I know better now. Absolutely. And it's all good. No, no, but I, absolutely. We... Chris, uh, see your shift was good? Fantastic. Yeah. Kicking ass, kicking ass and taking names. I was feeling very, very good. Uh, yeah, I was passing everybody. A couple of cars that I was letting by, but not much. So um was, yeah, feeling really good. It was nice, beautiful weather and sun was up, wasn't in my eyes. Just just feeling good. So that was, a, it was definitely. Yeah, good, you're doing great. Doing, it was a good lap. Good. Uh, I, I I did see there was a was there a brief period where you guys were in the top ten, or did was no. it just top? In, no, uh-uh. Not okay. even a little I, bit. All right, never mind. Uh, but for a while, you we guys made it into the mid twenties. Yeah, we were I low twenties actually for a bit. Yeah, twenty third yeah. was about as high as I saw you guys get. Yeah, That's about, about right. right. Yeah. We literally did not care. Yeah, I had a nope. good time out there too. Car, the car was on tires that are, are 
over a year old. I think this is their fourth race and we were just going to wipe them out. Like, so we were not at our best, but that's okay. Um, but we successfully wiped those tires right off. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's so true. The fronts looked rather weird after Saturday. So we, they were straight to the oh, back yeah. and everything was okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tire, those tires were trashed, but you know, rs fours they just they just last forever even on absolutely trash tires they got the car down to a mid 214 which is respectable for a b-class car so uh, i'd actually had a great shift out there on saturday running for a long time in a pack of four or five cars that were all driving really well and the consistently good speed it was all the you know, fast b-class cars like the aspen um the uh, cheese bolt focus, which they have stepped their game up. That car moves. Uh, that car is Greg, very he's, well. He's really yes. doing really well, right? Yeah. Um, the Hater Eight e, uh, Boston Winners E30, and then some various E36s which float in and out. But we were just going round and round and round for a long time, just cooking. That was uh, that was that was a fun shift. <clears throat> yep, that's good. I think uh, I went out and, for one hour. I think right, and then yeah, I think you went back out later in the day. One hour, and, and then, then you and then I went up. back out again. <clears throat> finish up today. Everything was great. The car was running, running great. No issues, no problem. Uh, the That's nightly checks, we found that the tires were trashed. I noticed there was a, a pinhole in the inner boot on the passenger side axle that had leaked all its grease out, but I didn't have a spare because I remember, spare remember from last week, home. I installed the spare. That was the spare. The spare was coming from Rock Auto. It arrived at our house on Friday. A lot of help that did. Uh, so we put the the least bad tires on the front and said, well, let's hope it doesn't rain because we have no tread. And it didn't. And, so it was fine. No. Yep. But but when you were out there taking the checker on Saturday, the clouds, I actually took a, I don't know if I oh, posted it. Was oh, I did post it. Black. Um, it yeah. wiped. Right. So oh. I actually took a pano with my phone because at the garage, it was light. And if you kept panning, you could see that there was just, it's raining over here. It's raining yeah. over here. There's sun over here. Uh, so yeah, no, it was, it was pretty crazy. Which is exactly what you said would happen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I know that's what happens because that's what happens every time it rains. As it I came up rain, over though. the hill, it was so dark in the distance. Like there, it was like a different world to the point where I was lifting my tinted visor because it was getting kind of dark in that <laughs> section of the track. Yep. But I have to say, I loved the, uh, the new setup I had with with the tinted visor, no sunglasses. It let me keep the visor closed, which I think is safer. And it it was a, it was enough airflow around the eyes. The glasses aren't getting fogged up. So I have to say, would recommend that setup. And as well as the spray cleaner that we talked about on our Christmas show for the, the helmet visors of the anti-fog worked beautifully, cleaned everything up wonderfully. So good. Yeah. Awesome. All success. Great. All right. Track goes gold. Uh, we were um, we were scrambling, so we knew it was going to rain. So, Vicky, Jennifer, and I, and I was at least our paddock, were trying to get all of our food cooked and prepared uh, for the potluck. So it was a, still a little bit early, um, but we know that we bet. So we got tables set up and kind of had everything set up early, so we could make sure that we were. Um, everything was available for people that were dropping stuff off the potluck. Uh, we scrambled to try to get stuff ready for the potluck. Um, in natural fashion, as the potluck usually happens, we had uh, no food out, minimal food out by the time that at 630. It always happens. And so we were scrambling and people were like, well, we're just going to eat now. And there's literally bags of chips, the salad that I brought, the salad that Vicky brought. And like, that's about it. And all the and desserts. So oh, I didn't yeah. get there yet. I didn't get there yet. So okay. uh, we were we were low on food at this. At this point. So, uh, no, I'm like, but no, serious. no potato salad. I a little bit. We had potato salad. I brought the potato salad that we. <laughs> yeah, so we had some potato salad, but we needed it because there was no food. So a minimal food. So we had. Uh, and so the thing is about the potlucks is we had two table tables full out six foot tables of desserts. Pies, more pies than you can uh, ever want. There were so many pies uh, there. And most of them were homemade. There's definitely some a pile of Costco um, pies, but there was definitely homemade cookies and just a lot of stuff uh, for dessert. So that was great. Thank you for the dessert, but we could use some food. Uh, the fortunate thing about the potluck was that we continue to have pe people that show up late because they, their food was taking too long to cook or they were 
putzing around or they're like, sorry, we're late. And I'm like, no, it's great. We have no food. So as people would come through the line, I was like, there's not a whole lot there, but the cheesy potatoes just showed up. So here you go. Yeah. Uh, so we, we played the game of, of, uh, yeah. and what? I said Brian's meat was excellent. Yep. And tacos, the tacos, like one tacos. guy brought homemade he made, Yep. No, he made tortillas. them like he didn't bring them. He made them yeah. that day. So I'm saying, yes. yes. Fresh brought to the potluck. And did you say it was homemade al pastor? Yeah. And fresh homemade al pastor on the fresh tortillas. Like, oh, yeah. I missed that. It, Darn it. Yeah. Yeah. It was at the end of the table. Uh, and that's why Robert, I told Chris. Well done. Yeah. We right. Go. Right. So um, we did have enough food. It was a little low, a little lower than I would have liked, but, um, but we did it. So uh, and then we cleaned up pretty, pretty what well, the cleanup wasn't too bad this time. Uh, had a bar. We had the, the Mar Marker team um, handle the bar. So that was really good. And no one yep. drank our slow gin. Sadly. Imagine that. <laughs> no, but Randy <laughs> did like the money Midori. For love. Yes, yeah. we did. Yep. Um, it was over $3,000, I think, at the end of the weekend, right? Total, yeah, for the whole weekend. Oh. So now that is fantastic. All, That's really all for Aaron, all in honor of Aaron, our wonderful fallen teammate. Yeah. Mm. So potluck yep. was good. Uh, the DJ was am amazing. Uh, thank <laughs> you for DJing. Yep. We had a great time and, um, the party overall was pretty light, but that's okay. We had a good time. So sit around, drank, had fun with friends. People showed up and talk like they usually do. So, um, not, not, nothing to be nothing like the notable, uh, 80% Cold, a forty percent cold, eighty percent party uh, that happened last year. None of epics, none of the epic stories like that. Uh, but my yeah. my coworker did show up with her husband. We had a great time talking with them. Uh, they're already uh, the lemons bug has bitten them. They are already trying to pick out their car. Uh, my coworker was sending me car <laughs> options today and asking me what we thought of, what we thought of them. So uh, they're they're ready. No, they're There's not a ready, different, obviously excited. different coworker than different the coworker. She just came. They just came to uh, to camp and check it out and watch. And so they learned a lot and we had a good time with them. So that was good. Um, overnight, though, Garage Heroes cookie was uh, absconded. And, I think uh, it's stolen the, a lot. Yeah, and this it's time it's epic. Yeah, yeah the, the thief created a website for a stolen cookie, like a full <laughs> out, like not just like a crappy WordPress. Like this looks right. like a legit <laughs> website and a ransom and it, video. And ransom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ransom was, video. Yep, it was amazing. I was it really was, impressed. I was so good. too. So cool. it even cookie monster. Nope. So. Oh, it's good. I they have a lot of time on their hands, unless they thought of it ahead of time. But I don't know the how. No, they I, know. I I know who did it, and I was involved in in some of the discussions of of as it was about to happen. And it was an off the cuff thing. I <laughs> love it. Yeah. They just have nothing else to do but let me just go make this website. Okay. Well, they have plenty of things to do, but this is the most entertaining thing to do. Sure. That was funny, right? Sure. Yep. <laughs> I loved it. I, I that was amazing. Just it was so creative and so cute. Yes. And yeah. so, is the site still up? Don't Maybe. Know. Oh, I don't know. Look What's at Garage the, Heroes what? social medias, and it was posted okay. on there. Yeah. Uh, we'll to, <laughs> also, their we'll social to... media had the had sorry had the uh, ransom video where the guy was threatening to cut the cookie up and eat it. It was cute. <laughs> yep. And for those again, for those who may not know, uh, the Garage Heroes in training one of their myriad of cars is a honda civic <clears throat> sponsored by chrissy's mom's cookies and they have a giant cookie on the here on the on the roof yep one race cookie monster stole it that was hilarious actually because yep. that was unprompted too and it right. just showed up the next morning on top of cookie monster's car and everyone's <laughs> like oh yeah that's make perfect sense okay got it i will say one little thing about the potluck guy the mustang people brought these little adorable cow cookies and a whole thing of milk, uh, so they that did. they could have cookies and milk with their little Mustang milk things. Uh, that was that was cute theming. So I uh, <sighs> give them some credit for that. Yep. Yeah. No, there were some good ones. I just there were some that so we could have we could have used more food. Just fewer desserts out there. Just yeah, you know, putting that out there for next time. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Sunday. Eric, you you start. No, who started? Eric started again. Yes. Eric started. Yes. I started. Yeah. Um, I had a good, I had a good, right. I really started to get into it. My times were getting down. I, I shaved about five seconds off throughout the weekend for me. And I still have some corners that I really don't know how to do right, but I'm working on it and I'll get, I'll get to it. 
Uh, and I was happy. So pass it off to Chrissy. Yeah, yeah. I <clears throat> think so. Yeah, you were more than happy. You got out and you were pumped. Oh, oh I was excited. You were excited. You said you thought it was really good. So that's yeah, what I was having a lot of fun, a lot good. of fun, dicing it up out there, learning. I was learning for me, the learning of how to figure out how to pass people, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, just because you're faster doesn't mean you can pass them because they block, you know, there's this typical thing. So I was looking for ways, I was learning ways, I was making that sort of progress. So I was very happy with what I learned this weekend, even though I still have, you know, a solid six seconds to shave off my lap time. So the website is kidnappedcookie.com. That'll be in our show notes for anyone that wants to check it out. I love that they bought the domain right, right? there in the middle. It's awesome. Freaking I, awesome. I, and uh, do they do it on like computer? I like, just went back to their RVs and just, yeah. okay. So these, are, these are, these are people that did it are listeners. They're great. So I know yep. it's amazing. <laughs> I, I still can't get over it. It's awesome. Uh, Sunday, my stint was fine. Uh, oh wait. Oh, so no, no. Okay. Hold on. Jeremy got in. Eric came in early. Yeah. Jeremy got in because yeah. he was suited and I wasn't and I was doing stuff and I was trying to clean. And we said, Jer Jeremy, just get in and, and finish the rest of Eric's stint. So he did that. So they mm -hmm. both got in and and then I got in. I guess I got in in the car just on pit lane. Right. So I didn't yep. get in the car before yep. that. Yep. Did three laps and I felt a shutter under full <clears throat> throttle going down straights enough that it was not normal it was not the way before um we raced and i was surprised that anybody would have gotten out of the car and felt like that was fine so um knowing how fast we go down all of the straights i said i'm, I'm not really a big fan it was consistent on all just about all straights uh and when you're going that fast i didn't really want to lose a wheel i figured anything that might break uh might hurt me and there's no reason to hurt the car if we're not trying to win so I bring it in because we have no radios and say, I've got this, sh this shutter. I guess I'll call it shutter. Um, and, you know, I feel like the, the, the wheel's kind of shaking in my hand um, enough that I didn't feel it was great. So I, I got brought it in. And then, Chris, uh, we looked around, didn't see anything. Wheel bearings looked fine. Put it up in the air, um, looked around, and we said, so then Chris got in the car and drove it down the street because we said, well, if we need to replicate it, he's not dressed. I don't, he doesn't really want to bring it out on the, on the track. Uh, so it brings it down the street. So Chris takes the car and goes away. Yep. And it did have a, a vibration under heavy throttle and higher speed. So we said, probably that, remember that axle boot that had the hole in it that leaked out all the grease? Yep. It's probably the problem. So, wow. Uh, Found a local parts store that had it. Eric went and got it. I had the axle out. Then I've gotten good at it. And the, the passenger side one I can have out in quick disconnect. Ten minutes. No. <laughs> so it's it's really easy. <laughs> and uh, so then Eric came back. We put it back in in about ten minutes and got the car together. Chrissy went back out and we didn't hear from her. So we said, "Oh, it must be." Okay, Eric. I believe, yeah, because I see you moving. Oh, okay. I believe, I believe, Chris and Chrissy just giga blasted. I think so, they did. We did. We giga blasted. Yeah. Oh, oh, now we're back. back. What the right, hell? Sorry, I, I, I immediately oh, think, oh great, my computer's doing this again. No, but then I see no. Eric making the same funny dog noise face <laughs> as I am. Nope. Oh, it wasn't and I'm me. like, come on, come back. And then I, I sometimes it's just my old ass computer. Yeah. Nope, definitely deaf internet. Sorry about that. Um. So yes, I got in the car and it continued my. Uh, stint, it was fine. I found that my eyes were uh, going up. I er, had a couple random early apexes, which kind of threw off the rhythm, especially in the S's or in the, you know, the back uh, modulating the gas part. Um, so it was fine. I did okay. I, I, you know, passed some people, but it wasn't, wasn't light, light on fire like the stint before. So it was fine. I had a good time. Just clean track. All good. Yeah. Then I, I went out one more time. And that's when I had a freaking awesome time. Oh, right, right, like, right. You're right. Yep, right. Yep. And and the tires were leaving us, but that also yeah. made it right, right. They're, they're so greasy. It's me, you know. I you, mean, I I I did a, a tank, I did a tank slapper. And so yeah, that's right. I, I was like, I got out. There was like two or three laps before I came into pit. And I was like, that's that was exciting. Like I thought <laughs> I, I didn't think I was that fast, but apparently I was fast when I get well, the tires were that bad. So that's what happened. Yep. But there's a certain point when you have that, it's almost more fun. 
because you used to like, I'm in and I'm worried. And then you, you know, there's a, there's a certain, if you do it on purpose, it's it. fine. Yeah. Now, if you do it on purpose, it's fine. If you don't, then you, it comes surprising. Then that's yeah. not exactly. But I, I still did my best lap then. So that at least helped me towards getting smooth and getting faster. And then I got out happy as a clam and handed off to Chris to finish off. And I had, I had a great time. The, yeah, the tires were just <laughs> trashed, but okay. Uh, did, they didn't need to leave anything left. So I was going along all well as well. The sky was getting dark again. I said, I really hope it doesn't right now because I know exactly how little tires shred these have and, and it's it's nothing. Uh, but um, it did not rain while I was out there because I was coming through 12 and all of a sudden significant shimmy and problem in the left front. And I said, ah, oh, like I think I one of these tires finally gave up. Like we were just pushing them too hard or I got a cut in it. It feels bad. Like I kept the... I had to slow way down on the straight fist up on the, you know, keeping myself the outside came in and everyone's like, why are you in here? It's like, Oh, the car's broken. I think I might have a tire like, problem and look at, no, the tire looks fine. I was like, the yeah. checker is in 15. So why? No. Why are you here? Yeah. You should not be here. <laughs> I, I really thought it was a tire. Is the car still moving like, under its own power? It felt well, like it happened there. to the If it's unsafe, that that's the, right. Yeah. If, if, and if, the, the, the three. If you didn't, if you didn't come in that time, we would have definitely won. So yeah, there you go. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> no, and last time when the hey. three was winning B and the uh, you were unsafe because the exhaust had overheated the whole engine, uh, you came in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's been many times where I've been actually have been leading the class or race and had to come in except for something stupid like right. you know a wire no fuel tire. right or a wire sticking out of the sidewall of the tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so but anyway, we said all right. Well, that's it. Pat and cnc giga blast again <laughs> yes yeah so let me just go back to one thing uh that happened I, while we I were racing. Hear you now oh sorry, Marcus. <laughs> the one thing that happened while we were racing no, no, i can hear you now hear me you hear, hear chrissy who, 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 i can hear all hear? of you just talk i okay. turned my video off thanks okay. okay all right so I just to go back something in the middle of the day and this because it was another brilliant spur of the moment type of thing. One of the teams took it upon themselves to start distributing flyers that said impeach Randy, Judge Randy at 3 p.m. And then they, they printed them out that day and they got a big banner for their geographic wall. location no. or time. 3 p.m. Time. 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 Okay. Good call. And which was unfortunate also, the, I missed it because we missed it because we were on the track and doing things. But or I think we were ch changing drivers. He, yeah. they, the banner they put on his minivan. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that that was his minivan that was in the, the, in the parking yeah. lot. I didn't know that. Thank you. That, that uh, Odyssey. Yeah, right. Good call. But, but all of those signs were all over like the bathroom door. So like as soon as you walk in the bathroom, like they were they were everywhere that was eye level. Right here. I'm going to get one. Oh, you have one. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, this is a great, like, thrown together by somebody think that they did. It was wonderful. So uh, the judges were Sajeev. We had him on the show. Yeah, Sajeev. Uh, Judge, Mary, Judge Randy. Mary, Har Mary Harris, and, Randy and Doctor, Bush. And Dr. Dr. Mom slash Dr. Dr. Wife. Wife. Yeah. Yep. yep. Impeach Judge Randy. Yeah, it was yeah. hilarious. It just and so like well good done. Good quality cards, too. Like, they're not like just It was just a printed. quality banner. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was a yeah. big banner. I'm impressed. Yeah. Apparently it was just a, a remote faction and they didn't get enough votes to actually impeach him. But uh, we all know that this is something we have to expect in other, in other lemons, paddocks and, and mental. You just, so you know, as the next, the next judge and Chris and Chrissy, you know, you got to watch out for that impeachment now that it's a possibility. Sure. If somebody comes up with, I think they had picketing signs too. I think I saw a picture on Facebook from somebody that somebody took them or did you take all right. them? I, I've, I've reported all of my luxury vacations that I've taken. And so it should be all right. <laughs> I, I feel like, I, I, I feel like not in the same manner because this will absolutely invite impeachment, but I feel like to a degree I'm uncancelable once I'm, once I'm a judge, just, because I don't care, but yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That is fair. <clears throat> that is fair. No, uh, but he, as you know, Randy enjoyed the hell out of everything, all the themes and his own impeachment. So, yeah, Randy. Oh, leans and that's how things. you, yeah, that's how you uh, impress Judge Randy is you don't bring your <clears throat> theme at all and you commit to it the whole whole weekend. Yep. Yep.
Yeah, well, we already talked, talked about the winners, so I was I yep. was a nail biter to the end for who was actually racing, and then um, and plus, I mean, there was plenty yep. of carnage, uh, carnage in that uh, broken cars, uh, and it didn't seem like a lot yep. of penalty was quiet a lot. Quiet. Everyone yeah, was actually, yeah. I'd have to say, the driving that I saw was for the most part way better than northeast average like way yeah. less aggro i think part of it is it fits a big track there's a lot of room so even though there's 110 <clears throat> cars you get almost three miles they were spread out enough that was nice yeah there was very few car to car incidents very few uh as it might be the trend the question at the first driver's meeting that said who is a rookie and who is new at this track lots of hands which is great. We want people in, into the sport, but that also means that there were cars that literally drove down the middle of the track. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem <clears throat> when you are driving fast, uh, when you are expecting uh... a car to be, um, and then there's sometimes you have one, uh, I'm going to use a big air quotes here, hot shoe. So you've got a car that seems to be moving pretty quickly and they're driving the right thing. And then their friends get in and they've never been on track and they're overwhelmed. And I am just like, where are you going? Which side, which side can I pass you on? So, uh, that was kind of a, a big thing. Maybe it happens at most races, but I definitely noticed, uh, we have, you, you, I could pick out five off the top of my head, um, that were like that most of the weekend. <laughs> it, it does happen at most races. I just love that Chrissy is now getting so quick and so comfortable. Oh my God, where are you going? I should have been around I mean, you 30 seconds ago. I mean, I, I literally said that a couple of times. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Ride home so, was easy. Cadillac's yeah. amazing. Got home. Great. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it rained on the way back, but it was nothing of significance. And and I hit major traffic there right around Frederick, Maryland. Um, oh, but you know, really? Sunday night? Yeah, just I don't know why. Just a, about six mile back up, just stop and go for 45 minutes or so. Ugh. I will say a uh, big thanks to Alan for letting me stay in his camper. Uh, I don't know why he was so insistent about me drinking. Oh, uh, Alan, pull that jello shot stuff. Well, I mean, with that yeah. Went to bed, but I slept right through the night. I don't remember what happened. So <laughs> felt very rested. It was amazing. Yeah. I was just like, it's like out. I don't even know. I can't remember. Good. Um, That's wonderful. Now, Chris, and and I feel bad because we have a, this is Chris. You don't have a picture of you. We need like a picture of, you know, the wagon you or You probably something. can turn your video back on. I think. Yeah. I well, I was trying it. to not. Cause no, exactly. Not giga blast. Uh, so. Well, and Chris and Chrissy. So, and I'm cheating because I know this is on our Slack channel. So you guys went through this with the Honda when you did the engine upgrade. Um, but this is a new problem with the Mazda as far as eating axles. And yep. uh, you want to walk us through, I, I know what the solution is, but take our listeners to what your well, solution we, is going to be, what you think the source is and sure. why you decided to go the route you're going this time versus what you did on the Honda. Sure. Well, we're running a Mazda speed three transmission and axles mostly because it's actually way cheaper than the stock transmission we had in it. Um, <clears throat> and I thought it'd be more durable because it comes from a car with a hundred more horsepower. So it's gotta be stronger and including the axles. I thought all oh, these are going to be more durable too. So I just ordered rock auto axles saying, See how it is. But I ordered two because I said, well, you know, I might need a Zen. Which goes back to uh to our philosophy a, of a few races. when you're ordering parts. So I said, okay, I think yeah. we'll be all right. You go blasting. It, it's the Bill yeah. Fisher school of why order why order one when you can order several. Um well, so, especially if you uh, know if it's a disposable part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway. We knew the axle with the ever we talked to the last week. The the outer joint of the right axle broke as we were leaving the storage garage. We had no idea it was a problem. It was driving fine at the end of last year. So okay. So we replaced that. That axle, the inner joint blew because I think that tiny pinhole in the boot leaked all the grease out. It got too hot. That joint, that one went. Um then the left side went. But the left side that was in there went after it that came went in New Jersey last year. So it lasted several races. But instead, obviously we have a problem. And the problem is we are way outside the design parameters of the parts store axles and the rock auto specials that we're getting. They, the grease is not up to the temperature that we're handling, that we're putting these things through. Um, you know, we're on the throttle a lot. The Mazda is not a lightweight car and it has a decent amount of torque. So it is putting some pressure on these axles. 
the, the grease isn't holding up the, the quality of the parts and the machining and the you know chinese axles not so great and it's uh they're just wearing out quickly so we didn't know this was going to be a problem when we started i mean it could be but like our first civic with the d series even with the turbo never had an axle problem we'd go years on axles mm -hmm. who knew so this was new so now we're going to have to upgrade so we're we're getting some cheaty axles made that uh yeah it'll solve the problem we'll put it that way like that's a terrible way to spend money but it's, we need it to be we want a reliable car this is not a speed thing this is a just don't break that's what we're trying to do and we knew it was an axle problem going because it's there's a vibration and there was a rotational vibration based on car speed if it, it's under load that's even more so that's when the axles are, are have the pressure on them which is going to feel that's when it's going to show up higher speeds. I mean, this rope, it's moving faster, more likely if it's not centering, it's going to have a vibration. And also when we checked everything else that rotates in those corners and nothing else was wrong at all, it kind of starts to narrow it down, especially with the problems we've had. So that's how we decided it was the axle that was causing the problem. So with the, the new ones that we're getting that um, are made of much higher quality materials uh, have a much higher temperature grease in them that's designed to cope with the with the stress that's going to be on them and also they have uh, vented boots to allow for the pressure differential to change and get uh, keep them a little bit cooler Never so, heard of wow i didn't know that they're also even they're also even like polishing up the the bits inside the joints to make sure that they're smooth and smooth is less heat and less binding and and easier rotation and whatnot so is it the boot holding in the grease it is, but if you can you can vent it from front of the center because the grease spins to the outside oh. through rotation when you know centripetal force and all that. So if okay. the vent is kind of in the center, and one trick that people do when they make their own out of these, which you could do, the other option we had was buy OEM Mazda axles, which are better quality than parts store ones, take them apart and replace the grease with something good like Redline CV2. It's designed for you know high temperatures, and then take a straw like from WD40 and put that in the boot with a little carve out in it that sticks into the middle and allows just enough room to vent that shouldn't leak too much grease. That's that's the <laughs> homemade way to do it. But I also then decided I'd, after Chrissy and I just talked last night and about the choices, Chrissy said, you know what, let's just never have this problem again. It would be a shame to spend the real money on the Mazda <laughs> axles. Which is really that. like just a, a healthy solution to anything. Let's never yeah. have this problem again. Yes, we can sure. fix this problem with money. Well, so but we would be fixing this problem that. with money, and then we would be at a race, pay for a race, show up, yeah. hang out there, and have to do a couple axles a weekend. That's a that that would have the paying for the new axles would have solved that problem. Yeah. So one was, one ruined race pays for these axles. Yep. So well said. Yeah. Yep. So that's what we're totally. doing about it. Uh, so then, there's other uh, other stuff. Oh yeah. As I, I kept digging into the car to see what's going on and, and some things have just worn out. Like, um, uh, you need obviously brake pads. It's those brake pads were been on there for almost a year. Um, and one caliper, the slides got a little, the slide, the sleeve rubber sleeves and the caliper that hold the slides are worn out. So the pads were not wearing evenly. So we kind of ruined one set of pads for that caliper. Their sets are good spares. Um, so, all the new pads are in in the rear. They're good. Fronts, they're going to have to be replaced. I've got caliper rebuild kits coming to rebuild the, the bad caliper and have some spares that I bought from a local junker that arrived today. Nice. Um, also found that one of the one of the strut mounts was getting loose, so I took that off and took the shock apart and said, oh, this shock, left front, not so hot. All right, well, if the left front's not so hot, the right front probably also not so hot. So I took that one apart, and that shock, like you, it, you can push the shock down, and it never comes back up. That's the right front. So thanks, Coney, <laughs> for having a great warranty uh, because this will be the third set of front shocks on that car based on buying. Well, it makes me happy. Man, so that picture was a couple of years ago. Yeah, but, I'm just trying to yeah. have a picture of you while you're talking. Your audio just want wonky as well. But, okay. Uh, uh, so, but that is, uh, I feel like Coney should be using you guys as, uh, as, you know, some sort of R and D as a minimum. Well, yeah. Well, the, technically their warranty is voided for a car that is racing, but Hey, ours is still tagged and insured. Still registered. So, so yeah. I'm going to send it and say, wait, what is this? 
What are we doing here? I don't know what Eric, I have no idea what Eric's Eric, doing. <laughs> Eric, yeah, I'll tell you later. Don't worry. Just keep going, please. Okay. So <laughs> shocks, I'm very happy to go uh, to, to Coney. So this is uh, more shocks from them. Right. That's good. <laughs> Eric, you're still sharing the screen and now I can't do anything. Oh. No, he's no, you're not. He's not for us, but <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, anyway, he's just he's just sharing his um uh, uh his, his he's sharing his uh Zoom call screen. Yeah, is that better? Not you're, sure, sure, but I I can't. I've stopped sharing. My, I can't see my notes. I stopped okay. sharing. It, it's it mental. It's as a you problem. It's not showing up for us. We're we're fine. It's gone for oh. us. Okay. Times. This yeah. isn't great podcasting. So, no. um, anything else wrong on the car? You took a whole lot of stuff off, and now, yeah. Well, now the, the car's apart, and, and it's timing. going to stay apart for at least a month until all the necessary parts come in. So it's on the lift, taking up the garage, and it is going to stay that way. Yep. Yep. So now we have to work around it because we can't move it, can't put it down because <laughs> it doesn't have any way to put wheels on it and move it. So cool. At least it's warm yeah. out, so now we can work outside. So that's <clears throat> a little bit better. It can it can garnish a good half an inch of pollen on it, like we have here. Sure, sure. Well, it's inside, so it, no. no, I, no mean, I mean the other cars, to, your other cars, the other cars, yes, the other pretty cars. To work, yeah. Well, the NSX just outside. won't come home for a while because of this. Aww. I know. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so, um, overall, successful weekend. Um, we had a good time. If anything, we always have good laughs and. Uh, yeah, we always have it was time. fun. It was low key casual racing with friends. Car yep. mostly is in fine shape when it came home. I mean, some stuff just wore out. Okay. But nothing got crashed. Nothing went boom. All these problems are easily fixable. So these are, these are the good kinds, kinds of mm -hmm. fixes to make. Good people, good weather, good racing. It was fantastic. Yep. That's Absolutely. the answer. And I good food. Good food. I was going to say, mm -hmm. we have good food. We had plenty of it. Uh, yeah, no, it was good. We had a good time and good friends. Nine, All right. Nine stars. Was, would casual race again? Pretty much. Yes. That's the answer. Would casual I'm going, race again? I'm going right on Yelp. I'm going to add that one right to it now. Do not because then people <laughs> will want to casual race with us and that's not how it works. Hey, well, that is awesome. I'm bummed that I wasn't there. Uh, it was, it was uh, two races I missed that uh, this past weekend. Um, Went mental. Will we see you this year at a 3 p.m. race? I hope so. We, I hope we, so too. we will see. We will see. Um, so, ah, uh, what about you? Were you at pit race? Did you have a great time? Did you have a crappy time? Did we get one of these stories wrong? Correct us. Get a hold of us on any of our social medias or drop us a line or even just tap something down there in the doodly do. Uh, right now, I think, uh, unless we've got anything else, we're going to move on to everyone's favorite segment with their least favorite person that they want to host the segment. It's time for just, just the day. Day. You could still text me at, uh, I'll go through the number later when I read it, but our friend, Brian from, uh, the hack factory racing, uh, also known as we like the tuna here, but yes, they're hack factory. Thank you for fixing that, whoever, but he actually turns wrenches, uh, for a living, like professionally, this is his job. And he sent us this, uh, opened up and shared this. Hey mental. I've got just the tip for you this week. I don't know if you've ever seen videos of people heating up the dipstick tubes and such, and then having the valve covers explode in their face. No, I have not. I do not want to see that kind of thing. That sounds nope. awful, nope. but he was heating up a broken valve cover bolt next to an open cylinder head and actually had an explosion and fireball in his face to quote him, learn from my mistakes. I'm just pissed him off myself because I should have known better and tell Chrissy I did have my safety glasses on. Thank goodness. Good thing, because you can see his fringe oh eyebrows that, exactly. and fringe hair. Mm -hmm. So those, uh, those safety glasses, I, there you go. Yeah, and his forehead in, in the picture is, we have on there, like yes, sunburned. he shared it with us. His forehead is sunburned, and you can see his eyebrows are singed. I'm glad he got to keep them all. Otherwise, you would just walk around like he was surprised all the time. And his hair is singed. <laughs> just I a would shorter. Yeah, if I had that much singed hair, I might actually cry. 
So oh, that would stink too. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> awful. <laughs> so uh, we're we're really glad you're okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing us. Uh, you know, he, 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 he's up there. He's up the North, North, like towards Connecticut. So he's probably yeah. still a little cold and he's working in a, a smaller space with what he thought all the flammable stuff was removed. But if you're heating things up, man, like get into a well ventilated area, make sure you got some airflow and remember stuff will ignite in a heartbeat. And it's never what you expect yeah. uh, to blow Thanks up. Thanks for sharing, Brian. I mean, yeah. we're all about uh, having people learn from our mistakes and we make plenty. So uh, you're, you're right along with our ethos there. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Yes. And we are really, really glad you're okay. And yep. uh, with that, do we have any idea what we're going to be talking about next week? I'm going to be out of town. So this will be even a less professional episode, but uh, I think we're going to Who knows? Happen. Yeah. We'll, so, we'll figure it out. We'll but all right. In the meantime, and if you've got a hey, show thanks. idea, let us know. Absolutely. Oh, oh you're going to read it. Go for it. So well, it, it goes better if when the sound is in the mic is also the person talking. So, hey, thanks for downloading us. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Everyone Racers. We also hope you'll join us in the world of driving, racing, and building because everyone can be a racer, even you. If you enjoyed this podcast, subscribe. Totally free. You get what you pay for. Then go to iTunes and please give us a five-star rating. Even if you don't really like us, give us the five stars and tell us why, and we will absolutely read that on the show. We've done it before. If you have any questions or show ideas, drop us a comment on our Facebook page, Everyone Racers, or email us, everyone.racers at gmail.com. You can still text mental pictures of your junk, 484-243-0455. Find us on Instagram and Twitter, everyone.racers, YouTube, Facebook, everyone racers, Reddit is slash EWNR if you venture into that cesspool. So uh, thanks again, everyone. And until next week, keep the shiny side up. Unless like us, it's covered in axle grease, then just keep the wheels down. Bye. Rusty parts are hard. You know it's not hard? Clicking that like and subscribe button.